Hello, welcome back to RJ Outdoors. I've opened a beer. <laughs> um, I'm at a friend's permission camp this evening. Um, he's just gone to get something, uh, axe or something. Um, so this is his little setup. So this is our little communal area which he's built. There's a fire pit just there. Um, I'm in my hammock again tonight. And I am going to be putting it up over here. That's all my bags. So in between those two trees. Yeah, it's, uh, it's looking like a nice evening. Um, we're not forecasting any rain, but the tarp's going up anyway. But first things first, you be a beer. So. <laughs> Right, there's my setup. He's joined me, look. He's back from the car. Hello. That's Carl from Hazard Outdoors, if you don't know. So, my setup. <laughs> I'm back in my Cover Cure hammock with my one Tigris, Tigris, how do you say it? Tigris? Yeah, under quilt, DD tarp with my bungees. And I've got my British Army basher on the floor underneath my hammock protecting all my lovely kit i've got my british army arctic bag again because it's gonna probably get down to what are you saying 10 weatherman yeah, over yeah, here only about 10. telling me 10 but that's still too cold for me anyway carl's in his uh land shan camo. camo in the woods like me i've gone full camo look that's green, what else do you want? That's, green that's true look at the green over there so uh we're gonna prep some firewood and get a fire lit because I'm cooking something nice tonight. Not that I don't cook anything nice anyway, but I don't know if he's going to eat what I'm cooking, but I don't know. He might have a bit.
Right, we've got the fire lit now. Over there, in the little fire pit. Um, now, I've probably thought to yourself, what were you doing? Got that green bit of wood, Robert. I tell you, I was making a spit because I'm cooking roast beef on a spit. So the reason why I did green wood and stripped the bark off is because it's sterile. So I've now got a sterile piece of wood which I'm going to thread the beef on and hang it over the fire for about an hour. Um, and I'm going to have some American style roast beef bagels because I've got some American style mustard as well. So it should be nice. Let me show you the fire. There's the fire. There's the wonky spit. It is wonky, it's not just me. Right, while the beef is um, cooking on the spit, like I said, it's probably going to take an hour, just over an hour. Um, my idea is to serve it, slice it up, serve it in some bagels with some mustard, South Carolina style mustard. I was going to show you my beers. So I've just drunk this one, which I've been drinking since we got here. I've done that now. That's gone. Um, I've got a boss brewing. Bubble trouble, bubble gum. Um, that really does taste like bubble gum. Now you know how some beers say that they taste like they're meant to and they never do? That really does. It's like the bubble gum we used to have when we were kids, put it that way. Um, next up is a Northern Monk. Uh, mango's on with faith, so it's twist edition. I've got a Luminous Nights New England Deeper, 7.4. That's going to be before bed, I think. And then a couple of the old uh, Gotta Be, Brewdog, Punk, IPA, a couple of them. And that's it. And then got some stuff for breakfast. Mr. Hazard. He's got his chopper out. And yeah, we're now going to sit over there and the fire is, have a few beers, catch up, and a bit of a chill out. It's going to be a good night. Bugs everywhere. There's midges and all the good things out tonight. Thankfully I've got my bug net, which I need to put up. Just reminded me.
Right, the trick is now is to let that little bad boy rest for a bit because hopefully it's going to be nice and pink in the I middle. It's pretty dead, it doesn't need a rest. No? <laughs> you had it from the man himself. <laughs> right, the bad boy's been resting for a good 10 minutes. There's quite a bit of juice come out, which we have mopped up. Hopefully it's, uh, it is cool enough to touch now. Get the stick out. Oh, oh, Carl's just checking up on the weather. Yeah, Anyone's sorry, interested. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to need this in the morning for brekkie. You'll see that in a bit. Not windy at all there. But, no. but now, it's all about this, isn't it? Let's slice her up. That looks beautiful. Thank you. Backside. Oh, we're talking about my beef. Your rump. My rump. <laughs> it's not rump. Oh, look at that. That does look really nice. Actually. I'm great. Yeah. Done well there. Yeah, I'm gonna try a bit. Mm, thank you. Mm. Oh. So it's medium rare. Mm. Like beef should be. Yep, otherwise you ruin it. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. How much flavour? Thank you. Here we go. Mm. Oh, Come back, <laughs> Fried onion. Oh. I've turned all French. There we go. So the idea was to go all Americano and get bagel. That's what we got there. Less of us than plans, there is, yeah. So there was meant to be, well, the numbers were going up and down of how many people were meant to be coming yeah, tonight. Very up and down. So we were only four, I think, in the end. But it's just me and Carl. So. Beef. They found out that Rob was here. And they yeah, they, they realised that I was here and said, no thanks. <laughs> You're not so, going to be there next time, are you? No. So that's my beef. On my bagel, and I'm gonna put a bit of the old mustard on. Nothing else nice. on the top. Nothing else needed. Jobs are good, and I got me beef bagel. Wow. Nice one. Mmm. Mmm. I would say cooked to perfection, but... No, it's cooked. Hmm? Mmm. It's good. Got a nice little fire established now. I haven't uh, checked in for a bit, probably a couple of hours to be honest. Um, I've just been drinking beer, and me and Carla just been catching up because we, we haven't really had a catch up for a while. A proper good one, anyway. So, have a beer. <laughs> what have you got there? Some chocolate. I'm just going to have a bit of chocolate. Yeah, I had quite a nice little evening, really. So, all right, Carl's cooked the curry. If you want to see that curry, check out Hazard Outdoors. Yeah, I think I've viewed it. Huh? Mainly eating it, but mm. I still only managed to get through about half. I just looked at the screen, because it it's getting dark, but obviously on there it doesn't look as dark. So. Nice. Um, it was about 
Got both nine in it. Yeah. I think so. I'm staying up till ten tonight. I'm going all airy. Having a late night. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. About yeah. midnight, I think, alright. Yeah, you'll probably go to bed about midnight. I'm storming it off in the hammock. <laughs> Right, I'm in the hammock. I've got my uh, Arctic bag. It sounds like it's spitting rain out there. Um, when I got in, my hammock flipped. So, I really can't be bothered to saw it. I just want to go sleep. Anyway, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning. I slept very well. Very well. That well, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I got up at four for a wee. I thought I'll give myself an hour and a bit because I promised Mr. Lanshan that I was going to get up and do breakfast. But I literally, I've been in there sleeping. I'm just so comfortable again. Get yourself a British Army Arctic bag. They're amazing. I know they're big and bulky. I don't care. I want comfort. But yeah. I'm going to get up now and uh, crack on with breakfast. Because I'm going to have to leave shortly. A couple of hours. Get back up. And crack on. See Mr. Lancia. There he is. This is through the bug net. Look at all the bugs. Look. Jeez. So we're up. There he is, Mr. Lanshan. Definitely Other tents available. Uh, kettle's on. Um, we're cooking brekkie in a minute. Like I said, there's bugs and flies and things everywhere this morning. So hopefully smoking them out a bit with the fire. Um, we banged up the fire last night before we went to bed, and there was actually enough heat in there this morning to get it going again. And Mr. Mr. Hazard gave it a blow, and uh, off we went. And the fire. And the fire. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Right, we're going to crank on with some breakfast. I've just got to wait for the flames to die down, and then we're going to cook some. I'm going to cook some bacon. I'm going to cook some eggs. We're going to cook some eggs together. Bacon and eggs. I like what you did. Man. Winner, winner. There's loads of them up there. One, two, three, four, five. How the hell do they get that much? Really? Like, it goes from that tree there all the way over, like, hanging to a tree there. So, they don't jump. 
and they don't shoot it, like Spider-Man, right? So they really just come all the way down, like that, and then walk across. So there's my efforts, crispy bacon, streaky bacon, smoked streaky bacon, I should really say. Carl's done some eggs, Definitely. got some baps on his plate, and, um, and some saved, bacon saved he's bacon. dropped. And that's our breakfast. So we're gonna get this in, and then, <laughs> wiping my nose on my hand. <laughs> but, uh, place, yeah, smoke, we got smoked out this morning. <sighs> but anyway, we had a coffee, Probably have another coffee and then I'm packing up and mm. heading home. What a lovely breakfast that was. Ooh, good stuff. Right, I'm all packed up. There's my stuff. There's my trees where I was. And I'm ready to go. Like I said, so that's a 30 litre backpack. It's got all my gear in it. Tarp, hammock, under blanket. That's my big boy Arctic sleeping bag. And that's my boy my beer as well. And like I said, that bag is bulky. But... Keeps me warm, does the job. How's it set up? It's not in there. He's off having a poo. So yeah, um, great night. Really enjoyed that. Um, just me, Carl, and his broad permission. Which is, takes a little bit of the edge off it. A little bit of the worries, doesn't it? But it's nice. Nice little woodland, as you can see. Anyway, um, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you all soon.